Hello, I did a photo shoot a couple months ago now where I was documenting a mural being painted and I thought it would be fun to kind of emulate the Hollywood movie look where, um, you know, everything is teal and orange and crazy lens flare and all that kind of stuff. A lot of Hollywood movies are shot with something called anamorphic lenses, which are awesome, but they're also unobtainably expensive for regular people like myself. And the big distinguishing factor that they have is the way they make lens flare cause horizontal streaks that go across the light source. Regular lenses just don't work that way. You get something that looks more like this. However, you can fake that look by putting on a really fast lens, uh, 1.8 is enough, but you can take either a piece of string or fishing line and put it over top of the front of the lens while, the, while it's wide open, and it will catch light and give you the same sorts of beautiful horizontal streaks. So that's a neat little hack you can do to um, emulate those kind of lighting effects. But if you've seen a contemporary Hollywood movie lately, you'll know that's not the end of the story. So I would like to show you how to emulate that Hollywood look in Darktable. I just upgraded to 1.4, but I think I'm using stuff that was all around in 1. First thing is really nice and contrasty. I like to turn the base curves off first, so all the adjustments are happening by me. Obviously this is the highest contrast area, so this is where your eye will go. So I like to start by getting the base curve somewhere around where I want it, but then I'll zoom in on a key area, like either his face here or his hand, and just try to get a little more contrast. So color picker, and I'll find out just that edge of his forehead, and I'll just bump that up a little more, and then find out where his hoodie goes, bump that down slightly, just to get a little more contrast on the face. All right, next thing, uh, movies are usually colorful, so uh, I like the Velvia filter with the defaults. It just, uh, Velvia is a rather poorly named module because it doesn't really emulate the look of Velvia film that much. Uh, if you want to do that, plug that on and then use this guy and crank your greens way up, and then that'll be more like... For the Hollywood look, take your highlights and put them right around here. And your shadows, lots of teal. Okay, now a little bit of sharpening. I like the uh, equalizer tool. Go to the Luma channel. I used to, usually about two or three clicks on the mouse wheel to enlarge it, and I usually, somewhere around here, just raise that up almost to the first line. That's, that'll give a nice amount of sharpening without looking too fake, usually. All right, now movies usually go crazy, so a bit of vignetting. Go with an oval shape. Um, yeah, just have the saturation so it's only turning down the uh, the brightness darkness. Um, if you're doing this again, it might be tempting to go like this to darken some of the light here, so more contrast goes on the figure. But I find it generally looks really bad when you start to put a vignette over a bright light source like that. It just kind of makes it obvious that you're doing a filter, so uh, I prefer it more like that. Okay, now a big thing, a minor mistake I made was the streak isn't perfectly horizontal, it's a little bit angled. Crop and rotate, angle, right click, and then you just kinda go down here by the bottom where you have more detail and just kinda move it bit by bit until it looks mostly horizontal. That's good enough. And now that you're done, um, you know, go back to your brightness, dark, or go back to your tone curves and maybe tweak those a bit more because you might have gone a little too far when you did the teal and orange thing. Alright. Now I like to zoom in on a fairly detailed area. I saved this one to the very end because it's uh, pretty slow to process. I don't have a video card. So denoise profile, it automatically finds, it'll automatically identify your camera and the ISO and everything. Uh, strength, I usually like to turn it up to about 1.5, but if you'll notice some of the detail has been lost. Uh, all right. So go down to blending mode, turn that all the way down to color. And 
Now, so now I feel like I'll turn it off and turn it back on. Uh, generally, chroma noise looks awful, while uh, luminance noise almost resembles film, film grain a little bit. So, um, two methods. One is to um, denoise the chroma, denoise your color channel fairly heavily, and that'll look awesome. And then denoise the uh, luma channel very subtly to get a really nice thing, but uh, this isn't really a serious photo I'm trying to sell. It's just a you know fun little gag, so um, I'm going to call that good enough. All right, thanks for watching.